a failure in box office and a failure with fans into number one. Hey everyone, Rob here. Check out Comic Book Illuminati, Outright Geekery, it's in the description. The topic of this video is my Deadpool movie review. I'm going to try to avoid spoilers, so I'm not going to give too much away, okay? This is my review on the movie. And if you saw the trailers, you know the humor in it. Overall, I like the movie. I thought it was a pretty good and fun movie. Especially if you know the character already from the comic books, you would like it more. But am I going to call it... Some people, like the AMC, I think John, or whatever, said it's like 10 out of 10, the best movie like he's seen, so enjoyable. And that's cool. To me, it's an 8 out of 10. It's not, for me, the best movie in our genre, the most enjoyable, or the most epic. It was very fun and very good, but it wasn't, for me, like the greatest of all time type of film. The story is not epic enough for me. It's not epic enough. It is basically two parts of the movie. It's an origin story and told in flashbacks and a revenge tale getting revenge on one particular guy that's the whole movie and a few of the jokes probably five or less were kind of like uh, kind of like grimace type of not to like it but other than that which will always ha that will always happen in a comedy other than that there were hilarious jokes I'm not going to spoil it but there's two particular jokes that really had me laughing. One was about Professor X, and another one was about where are the other X-Men. Hilarious jokes, and uh, you can tell. You gotta give credit where it's due. It's my personal opinion here, okay? I think Ryan Reynolds, of all the superhero movies, of all of the actors to play a superhero, I think Ryan Reynolds is the one who truly enjoys his comic book character the most. You know, is just a fan of his comic book character. And just my opinion is that most actors are just in it for the paycheck. They could care less either way about who the comic book character is, or comic books, or, or stuff like that. They could care less about our genre. I think most of them are just in it for the paycheck. Nothing more, nothing less. And that's cool. That's okay. But I'm saying of all the actors who truly has a passion and really enjoys comic books, it's Ryan Reynolds. The way he marketed it, the marketing was brilliant. I don't know how much Fox had to pay him. Did they pay him? He shouldn't have been doing it for free. But all of those ads he did on TV, he put the time in to promote it. The marketing was brilliant. Uh, probably the best marketed by an actor superhero movie ever. And one thing, by them doing the marketing that way, they didn't have to show too much trailer spoilage and spoil the movie. Because they didn't have to show a lot of scenes from the movie to spoil it to get you to go. Because the marketing ads were unique. And really helped. Especially because it's a record setting movie for an R rated film. Uh, just uh, in terms of genres, R rated movies traditionally don't make as much money as PG-13 or PG. So if you, if you stick an R-rated label on a movie, your box office is probably going to be less than you think. You know, that's just a general rule. But Deadpool deserved the R-rating. It was a, a new character as far as people 
outside of comic books, not really knowing the character. And yet, I think I read in a poll, like, uh, over 50% went to see it because it was Ryan Reynolds and and also like a 50 or so because it was the comic book character but it was just really brilliantly marketed you know it's funny Fox went from Fantastic Four an utter failure last year a failure in box office and a failure with fans into number one so far with fans and in the box office so they have been redeemed and uh, just again overall opinion I think it would be you know if you haven't seen the movie yet and you like superhero movies is it like a must go epic type of story that you must truly go to the theater to utterly enjoy not really I think you could go to the wait for home video wait for the blu-ray It'll have a director's cut. It will have extra scenes and stuff. I think you could definitely enjoy it just as much. Uh, you know, there are some movies, in my opinion, that you just got to see it in the theater, like Star Wars, like uh, some of the Avengers films. And then there are other movies that you could, you could kind of wait. And this one, I think you could wait. Or you could go to the theater. Either way, it's enjoyable. Fox did a good job. I think it helped Ryan Reynolds' career. He has been having some terrible movies, critically and financially, at the box office for a long time. This gave him a career boost. He needed it. And uh, it helped Fox tremendously because no one in the industry predicted this movie would make, make this much money. You know, usually these guys who analyze the films predict how much a movie is going to make on opening weekend they thought it would be like 50 to 60 million or even 90 million they never expected 135 three day 150 million four day weekend you know it totally so great job by marketing great job by uh, Reynolds great job getting this movie made and so I think the X-Men world in terms of Fox looks pretty bright. I'm pretty sure Marvel Studios is kind of pissed off that this great character is not under the Marvel Studios brand and they can't use it. It's a big win for Fox. And uh, that's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you think. Subscribe. Check out the description. And I'll talk to you later.